Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Lifted. Above all the gods, we lay our crown and worship. You be lifted above. King of kings, majesty, we bless you. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. To you be all the praise. Someone bless him. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we praise you. We worship you. Now ask him for an encounter this night. Give me an encounter even by your spirit. Give me an encounter even by your word. Give me an encounter by your spirit. Hallelujah. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. So that you don't confuse him with other spirits. There are many spirits, but he is that spirit. And he says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You know he is that spirit because of what follows his presence. The Bible says if it is true that he is that spirit, then you expect liberty. Hallelujah. Every gathering by the spirit of God is a feast of light. The Bible says that was the true light that lighted every man. If it is the true light, the benefit is to every man. That was the true light that lighted every man, not some men. When it has to do with the administration of the light that comes from his word, it is for every man. The same Lord is rich unto all. That means you must expect an encounter with the light of God. That was the true light that lighted every man. There are false lights. They carry a semblance of liberty. They carry a semblance of knowledge. But they do not sustain the power to lift. Because you arise and shine if your true light comes. So if you claim to have received the light and you still remain there. You did not receive the true light. Light sustains the power to lift. 
light sustains the power to drive away darkness john 1 5 the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not hallelujah yes so if it is the true light it sustains the power to lift spirit of the living god we submit to your wisdom we declare that outside of your help we are only wasting our time it is only in your light that we see light you are the one that we praise you are the one we adore you give the healing and grace that our hearts always hunger shala sobrandi give me tonight by your spirit and let Jesus be glorified for in Jesus mighty name we pray mantles I just saw fire mantles 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 because there are doors that God is opening Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. There are dimensions that have not yet been made access, accessible to anyone in your family. Now you are coming from behind like Joseph. Not the first, but the chosen. Not the first, but the chosen. And those doors are about, you have mastered the art of saying Ephata for the doors to open. You have to understand how to now hold the sword. Because let me tell you the truth. Warriors do not just speak, warriors fight. Warriors do not just speak, they fight. They are men and women who must know how to hold the sword of the spirit and fight with valiance. You can't turn back. Your turning back will be the destruction of a generation. It's a scene then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us. And it says to run with perseverance. There is no going back, not for the warrior. You master the art of using the sword and you fight with valiance. Say, blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm upon my holy mountain. And he begins to describe a people so vicious. He said, before them is as a garden of Eden. Behind them a desolate wilderness. These are men that can fight. I have fought a good fight, he says. Hear me, whether you are in ministry or you are in business, provided doors are open, don't just wear suit, carry the armory of a warrior as you enter through those doors. A time will come you will need to remove a CEO regalia and put on the garment of a warrior. There are giants on every mountain. Be like Caleb, stand tall. Oh David, do not let Goliath scare you. You can take him down, not by the sling, but by the covenant that you stand upon. He said, you come to me with your bows and your spears, but I come to you in the name of the Lord God of the armies of Israel, in whom you have defiled. Listen. We're about to pray, but ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. The prayer deliver us from evil. Some of you, the doors that are opening right now, you came to church with questions about the happenings in your life. What is suddenly happening to my health? 
the moment they made me a CEO they said I have high blood pressure where is it coming from welcome as you encounter the giants that sit on those mountains it is not for you to start discussing warriors don't discuss they fight take up your arsenals the work God has given you will not just keep rising like that and then the devil folds his arms he will come as many things Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember years ago, there was a gentleman who was going to get an appointment. I think he was in, in an oil and gas company. This guy had labored and worked hard. Everybody in the family had struggled financially and in destiny. They were sincere people. And then this guy kept engaging this mistress. Finally, a job that was going to come and open a door to wipe the tears of people. Do you know what happened? This guy slept and suddenly started having all kinds of funny dreams. This was according to him. And then they would, they, he was supposed to bring a report of medicals. And there were specific hospitals they were to go to. From nowhere, this guy was diagnosed with something that was going to make him lose that job. I remember very clearly. He reached me and said, I've never been like this. I, this, this was my genotype. This is my blood group. This is this. Where did this one come from? And I told him, I said, my friend, let me tell you, if you are interested in that job, you need to know that Satan has determined a threat that in your rising is the rising of many. Instead of fighting everybody, he should fight you. Hear me. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. There are men that are equal to nations. Instead of Satan fighting nations, he will focus on fighting them. If he can fight the mantle upon your life, that will be equivalent to fighting a million people across the globe. If he can fight your ministry, it is cheaper than fighting all who will rise from you. If he can fight your business, he is by extension fighting all those who look up to you for direction and inspiration. It's time to fight the fight of faith. I told that gentleman, I said, I will pray for you. The devil is a liar. Don't believe that nonsense. Here is an opportunity for your rising to help wipe the tears of your family. Hallelujah. There are many of you here who are victims of the realities of foundations and God wants to lift your family not just you oh Joseph the attack is not on you the attack is on the deliverer who will save Egypt Israel it is not about you Joseph one day you will become the second in command you will have access to preserving the destiny of a nation Moses it is not about you Satan is too serious to fight individuals he fights dreams he fights prophetic programs he fights mantles oh prophet hear me the battle you are going through has nothing to do with you it is a mantle that you are carrying an apostolic and a prophetic mantle Satan was there when prophecy was spoken over you Satan was there when declarations were made it was not angels alone he was there he had the declarations listen did you ever ask why Satan kept moving through the scribes and the Pharisees to ask Jesus who he was they met John the Baptist and said, are you that one? What was Satan looking for? He didn't say, why are you here? There, there was a person they were looking for. And John kept confusing them. 
who are you i am the voice of one crying in the wilderness saying repent make straight his ways and then jesus comes you know why satan killed john because he knew the jesus and he did not say it when jesus was finally ordained and commissioned he ensured that like jezebel wanted the head of elijah the head of john the baptist went for it I shared with you my visions years ago I was praying one night and then the roof the ceiling of my room just disappeared and I'm seeing this creature that is standing before me a giant creature looking like a dinosaur having a tail that had its own life that could be disconnected from the creature and still be alive bulgy eyes one eye was looking like the head of a man and he was looking with fierce anger and spoke fluently so you think you can bring God's people into abundance I have met demons I have met spirits it is not only angels I have met I have met demons I have met spirits I can tell you one thing with the devil he's determined when he finds out that there is prophecy on your life when he finds out that you're opening the door is the rising of many get ready the king of tyre he will wait for you elijah there are bands of prophets waiting to come and frustrate you but thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph thanks be to god hear me the secret now is in Job 38 and verse 33 it says knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish the dominion thereof in the earth do you know the principles by which the mysteries by which the heaven regulates itself and can you reproduce that reality in the earth this is what Jesus meant when he said your kingdom come and your will be done capture the principles the modus operandi of the spirit and reproduce it within your life within your sphere and you truly will begin to walk like a god upon the earth psalm 82 and verse 5 he says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course verse 6 says i have said ye are god and all of you not some are children of the most high the next verse says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes I made up my mind that as far as it depends on me as far as it depends on me I will not only force those doors to open that everyone behind me it says I and the children that the Lord has given me we are for signs and for wonders you are not the only one who came from a bad background find out where Jesus came from Nathaniel said can anything good come out of Nazareth and Jesus did not say you are lying because the most popular Nazarene that they knew died in a very painful way the man called Samson that there was a spirit that followed great Nazarenes even though they were people who had a covenant with God and would just destroy them at the prime of their life Nathaniel said don't waste your time following Jesus there is something in his foundation his success will not last and Jesus sees such a man and says an Israelite indeed in whom there is no guile in other words from the sincerity of his heart what he's saying is true I know it is true that people who come from where you are from never rise beyond a certain threshold it is true until your access to the mysteries of the kingdom rewrites that script I know it is true that certain people never attain onto a level of wealth and abundance with a kingdom mindset. It looks like the only way you live is by begging all the days of your life. Anointed but you are a beggar. And so the spirit wants. But you can arise and rewrite certain things. Rewrite certain things. Rewrite certain things. Every decree can change. Let me tell you the truth. Every decree can change. 
even when her man died the king had already stamped a decree that permitted the death of the Jews so the, the enemy had gone but the system was still going to cause their defeat and Esther came and told the king you are a king you are the one who wrote the first one you can write another decree again we change decrees by writing another decree who wrote the decree that you will not rise I am also a king and a priest unto my God and I can take the advantage of that king priest dimension in partnership with the spirit and right that from this moment henceforth everybody rises that from this moment henceforth everybody rises that from this moment henceforth God is glorified in everybody connected to me where the word of a king is the Bible says there is power hear me if the power from your royalty does not speak it means that your scepter of honor and authority has not been given to you or the consecration that ordains you as a king is not there or you have refused to use your authority to declare but hear me oh David when the oil comes and the scepter comes and the crown comes you are king 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 kings declare by speaking kings rewrite things he said my heart is indicting a good matter yeah i speak of excellent things that my tongue is the pen of a ready writer i can rewrite possibilities in my life and in the lives of others Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Shabala Sodavana Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Feel this place you are in the next one minute I like you to begin to pray seriously in the spirit go ahead and begin to generate energy in your spirit man 
Sharakata prakata belekete praskata pakatosh katea. Embrakata paranda skafrate kepeleketosh. Shabrakata belekete praska pegetesh. Embrakata parakatos koto prendegete. Embrakas kapakatos koto prekata. Embrakata belekete praskata belekete skade beketa. Embrantos koto pekete belekete bata. In the name of Jesus, overcome us by the blood of the Lamb. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. The evil that comes when doors open. The evil that comes when mantles come. The evil that comes when increase comes. Someone pray. Shada belaga de bela de bala da bosh. Kapra kata belaga de paska da branda kata berekos katiata. Krafa kata bala kata praska da bela kata. Rakata banda praska da bela kata praska da bela kato shatariata. Enkra kata bela kata berekos koto bala kato shatariata. Hallelujah. Just two prayer points and we're done for tonight. I'd like you to begin to invoke the mercy of God across every aspect of your life that it seems the devil is taking advantage of. Oh, by the mercy of God, the Lord rebuke you. I call for the mercy of God. Someone go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Invoke the mercy of God. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, the precious blood. I plead the blood, the blood, eternal saving blood. I don't have to cry. Ah. Rise. Yes, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, the precious blood. I plead the blood, the blood, eternal saving blood. I go. your mouth and declare Satan the Lord rebuke you I come by the authority of the king and priest in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord rebuke you I invoke the power of Elohim I rebuke you over my life over my health someone pray the Lord rebuke rebuke you the Lord rebuke you the covenant of the God of David fights you in the name of Jesus I call upon the holder of the key of David that opens a door that no man can shut and shut a door that no man can open he has opened the door no man can shut it go ahead and declare he has opened the door no man can shut it speak over your ministry speak over your family Satan thus far have you come no further shall you go the Lord is against you in the name of Jesus the Lord is against you In your 
Gentlemen, please hear me. Please hear me. Listen. Listen. Many of you will run sometimes this year and come and listen to this message again because the prophecy for open doors is not complete until there is a training to know how to become a person of stature. You need the door to remain open for those behind you to come. There are giants on every mountain. That is why you are a warrior. He said, I have fought a good fight. I have kept the race. You are not only a runner. When you are in the field, dressed like an athlete, but you are in the battleground, don't wear athletic clothes. You have to carry the regalia of a warrior. You are both a warrior, you are an athlete, and you are a keeper. Hallelujah. Hear me. For many of you under the sound of my voice here tonight and falling across the globe, the Spirit of God is depending on your consistency for the liberty of many people. Any laxity in your pursuit will not only cost you alone. The realm of the Spirit taught you to be your grandfather. He started on a good note. But eventually laxity and frustration there was zeal but no accurate knowledge of the precepts of the spirit so he could not survive the viciousness then it came to your father some of them did their best as far as they could go now the baton has come upon you you may be young you may be the last but by no means the least the mantle is still on you God is counting on you right now Will you be the one to end this cycle and start a new one? He said, are you the one or should we look for another? Are you the one who has come now? Are you the prophet we have been waiting for or should we look for another? Are you the apostle that our grandfather prophesied that a day will come in this city, a young man will arise with fire and power? Are you the one or should we expect another who is yet to come? Are you the businessman that prophecy has come upon that you will be the one through your resources to liberate nations hear me the bible says there remaineth a rest for the people of god any day your faith selects is the day you make your rest it says let us therefore labor to enter that rest and the way we labor is found in Jeremiah 6 16 it says to stand in the way and then he says to see and ask for the old path wherein is a good way when you find it he said walk in it and for sure you will enter your Sabbath please hear me as we prepare to round up tonight the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to someone I am still depending on you I am still depending on you. I am still depending on you. Moses, do not prolong prophecy by 30 more years because of the laxity in your training. When the prophecy came to Abraham, it was 400 years. Match the prophecy with the speed of your training so that you do not add 30 more years and make God look like a liar. If you are slow, you will delay prophecy and time will be added and men will suffer. You must be up and doing at a cutting edge to match up with what has said. He said, I, Daniel, understood by books. He opened the book to see where it was written that the captivity of Israel in Babylon would come. And when he found the time, he postured himself in fasting and prayer for 21 days until Gabriel was sent from heaven to come and bring him word. And while he was coming, the prince of Persia the spiritual wickedness that resides in the heavenlies he stopped him and he maintained in persistence 
and archangel Michael he came and he prevailed not and he had now come he said I am come to give you understanding he gave him understanding and he knew the times that the captivity of God's people would come to an end in this season we must master the art of reading the writings on the wall you must have the eyes of the spirit that when you see things written on the wall you must discern what the spirit is saying the bible says he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit saith is it not in your bible that the spirit speaketh expressly the spirit speaketh expressly it says that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith and they shall give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons but the most important thing is that the spirit speaketh expressly we must obtain grace that our eyes be washed with eyes of and that our ears be attuned to the frequency of the spirit to know what god is saying per time per season let us walk after the order of the sons of Issachar the Bible says they are men that had an understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do as a result their brethren were at their command there are names there are titles there are legends and tales of strength but only a shoe will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be nowhere. There are names, there are names, there are titles, there are legends and tales of strength. I stand by this prophetic and apostolic mantle and I declare over your life in the name of the resurrected Christ who gave gifts to men that every door that has stood closed over you in the name of Jesus I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and I speak to that door Ephata be open Ephata be open Ephata be open in the name of Jesus it says and thou O Lord will teach my hands to war and my fingers to fight i decree and declare in the name of jesus the strategy for victory that you have now received obtain it and last through your open doors last through your open doors last through your open doors no decline no retrogression in the name of jesus christ you hear me there are some of you that found certain treasures but they fell and they were missing the bible says the kingdom is like a man who had treasure but one fell the first thing he did was to light a candle and the second thing he did was to get a broom and with the candle and the broom he started searching i know it is somewhere i don't know exactly but with the candle that has been lit and the broom he started sweeping the Bible says that is the character of the kingdom you never find things until by light and the assistance of the prophetic alas master for it was borrowed he said where fell it and he said here I want to speak to someone because you see let me tell you restoration resides within the office of the prophetic whether it is the wife of the Shunam a Shunamite woman having her son back to life or the axe head falling or restoration to Samaria it is by a prophet that the Lord brings the nation of Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they are preserved he said I have spoken to you in similitudes I have multiplied visions even by the prophets I decree and declare in the name that is above all names everything that has left you but not by God in the name that is above all names i declare with accuracy and precision let it return back to you let it return back to you opportunities graces let it return back to you by the power of the holy spirit 
Hallelujah. Please hear me. The Bible says everyone that knocks, the door will open. I told you when you knock, it is because there is someone at the other side of the door. And it is possible that he can be manipulated like the man who slept with his children to say you are my friend but it's too late. I cannot open the door to give you what you want. It takes the favor of God coming upon a man to compel people to bend over backwards for your sake. And Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 says, And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15, be part, and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Psalms 44 and verse 3, they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their arm save them. 44 and verse 3, it says, but thou thy right hand, it says, because thou showed a favor towards them. The favor of God is not about money. The favor of God gives you access to the hearts of men. The heaven, even the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord. But hear me, the earth has he given to the sons of men. If God says yes and men say no, yes remains in the realm of the spirit. It is the spirit and the bride that says come, not the spirit alone. The system of operation within the cosmos will take the partnership of the spirit and a willing bride. If the spirit says Jesus come and Mary refuses to give her womb, he would have to look for another person again. She had to say be it unto me, be it unto me. Luke chapter 1 and verse 45. It says, be it unto me. Blessed is she that believes, he told her. It says, for there shall be a performance of the things that were spoken unto her from the Lord. Mary, on hearing that mandate, she said, be it unto me according to your word. And that happened. For many of you, the Spirit has been saying, come. The Spirit has said, increase. The Spirit has said, open doors. The Spirit has said, fresh mantles. But the bride that will stand in partnership with the Spirit to echo what is being said, has not spoken I stand as one sent because the spirit has said come I also say come for you in the name of Jesus because the spirit has said rise I prophesy rise because the spirit has said shine I prophesy shine because the spirit has said go forward I prophesy go forward because the spirit has said don't go down I prophesy you of that friendship Remember, the guy in the room did not call him friend, but the one outside still said, for as long as there is one person still carrying that point of connection, he said, let me advocate for Lot. Perhaps if there are 50 people, perhaps if there are 40 people, that was a negotiation that was at the table of friendship. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. I didn't call him oh. I am a friend of God. How can I dare call him friend? The creator of the ends of the earth. But I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. So do not be surprised. When you see the benefits of friendship following certain people, do not, the Bible said there is a friend that sticketh closer. Shall I hide this? I don't know who God is speaking to, but there are people here tonight, God is saying there is a deeper level of friendship. Come, come. This nominal Christianity, this surface thing here and there, dealing with God like an idol, like a stranger, as if it's a stone carved somewhere. We serve God as if we are practicing idolatry. There is a functional relationship with proof. Come. 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 There is a river for you. Come. God is pushing someone. Come. There is a deeper dimension. More than just church. More than just nominal Christianity. It's a deeper dimension like Ezekiel 47. Oh, there is a river. God is calling a man of God. Hold on about ministry and come deeper. You will be more effective when you become my friend.
Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, I hail you, Moses High, Shema Sema Nadia, the Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, I hail you, Moses High. Because a friend always answers. When I call you, you will answer me. Whenever I call you, you will answer me. Hear me. There are some of you after this service, you may need to rush and go for a retreat. God is speaking to you. The destiny you are seeing and the level of relationship you are giving God, you can't arrive there. That is not how a prophetic mantle will land on you. That is not how an apostolic call will come. It's not by buying suits and sharing cards. No, there are, there are rivers, ladies and gentlemen. You have to dive deep into the river. Job said there is a, there is a path that no fowl has seen. The whelps of the lion has not gotten there very deep dimensions of intimacy with God that is where power resides in the spirit that is where rest resides in the spirit in your time just one more minute declare your desperation take me to the place the place you are the secret place that's where I want to be you are my sheep, you are my covering, you are my stability, and my 
foundation Take me to the place The place you are The secret place You're not wasting your time. Many of you are wondering what we are doing. This is how intimacy is developed in the spirit. Press for one more minute. Yeshua Hamashiach Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashiach Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashiach Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashiach Komina Listen, there is a realm in the spirit where I hear for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set on. going to pray one prayer point which will be a combination of everything I just summarized for you Lord my relationship with you and let wisdom and favor come from that relationship and with wisdom and favor I obtain grace oh God to be able to win the heart of men valuable relationships and with valuable relationships oh God let resources come and with resources again the wisdom to serve you the wisdom to bless my world to live a successful life and then it gives me an opportunity to spend time knowing you and building my relationship again lift your voice and begin to pray everywhere inside outside all of the overflow open your mouth and begin to pray to Jesus Doors of prosperity open through relationships. Doors of increase. Doors of ministry. Magnificent doors of the anointing. Just one minute. Go ahead and pray. By this teaching tonight, God has shown some of us where we need to make adjustments in our lives. opening destiny doors through relationships it says for everyone that knock it it shall be open you may not be the one to open it but the other person behind will open the door for you pray that you will never have to confess like the man at bethesda i have no man god will bring men to your life God will empower you. Relationships that speak for you at the gates. Obtain grace. Obtain grace. Now that ye know these things, happy are you if you do them. Father, I obtain grace 
to invest in my relationship with you I obtain grace to invest in my relationship with men I obtain grace to carefully and spiritually relate to and with things in a way that it never takes your place in my life the, the service today because I did not get an assurance that he's with me that if your presence does not go with us he says do not let us depart from here except you are a herbalist or you are some necromancer or a demonic person but if you want to do authentic ministry to serve God's people in truth you must ensure that his presence is with you the reason why you are going to be healed delivered changed the reason why every prophetic word that comes upon your life listen carefully is going to work it's not just because of the vessel now there is a place for the vessel but I insist and I repeat one last time Jesus minus Joshua Selman is still King of Kings and Lord of Lords Jesus minus Koinonia is still King of Kings and Lord of Lords for if we do not praise him he can raise up stones but you see you minus Jesus there is nothing there Take the stage, Lord. Have your way. Truly, I'm just a vessel and nothing more. When you're done tonight, will you please take the glory? I'm satisfied just to see you glorified so be lifted high i lift you high oh lord be lifted high for you are holy righteous and worthy glorify God this way hear me please you can't genuinely be open to glorify God this way and then not see his power manifest in your life no I don't know why I'm emphasizing the Spirit of God is speaking to a man of God maybe you are falling online you have been looking for this power thing you can fast forever it will not come when your motive is not pure you can go and receive impartation until they bath you in, in a whole gallon of oil. It will not anoint you. You can as well stand near an olive tree and one power. Are we together now? Because the oil is not what anoints. The heart condition is more than your physical activity. Now the power of God is beginning to move. Mm. Mm. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. I remember reading the story of William Branham that he would stand on the stage and just tell them the angel that was sent to walk with him is not yet there. And for hours they would just stand and later on he would say that is it he's arrived and now he will begin to prophesy one of the things I'm praying that God will help you to build is sensitivity you can't pretend sensitivity you can fake prophecy but you cannot pretend sensitivity hallelujah praise the name of the Lord so I'll take a few minutes to minister to the needs of people and then when I do We'll have the prayer requests and then I'll just speak over your life and then we're done for tonight. Hallelujah. Do you believe in the power of God? <laughs> Without the power of God, we're only actors on stage. What else do we have to give people? The power of God is a gift, a product. The, pro the, the apostle said, such as I have. You know, I've been working in this for many, many, many years. You would think because I've been working on this or you know in this reality every day of my life i should be used to it i am i marvel myself 
when I see what the power of God is able to do. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Okay, so I'm going to pray right now and I want you to bring all the people who the anointing of the Spirit comes upon. The Lord is revealing to me that there are people right now and this is a prophetic word for those people. Please hear me. I'm hearing the mantle of a restorer. These people, it's not just restoration that is happening to you. There is a mantle coming on you to go and be a restorer in your family. I release that grace now. In the name of Jesus, bring them. The mantle of a restorer. No matter where you are, under the influence of this anointing. Please bring them very quickly, let's save time. The mantle of a restorer. You came to church and you did not know that destiny brought you here. Because there is, there is an assignment that is connected to you. And that fire, that grace, go and restore. Go and restore. He said they are taken for a prey and none say it restore. Please help the ushers. Their hands may be full. If there's any, anyone on there, they are anointing close to you. You don't have to wait for the ushers. Just help them so that we bring them in front very quickly. The mantle of the restorer is falling on someone. You may be a man of God. You may be a prophet. I don't know why God is starting with an impartation. But again, I release that grace. I release that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and restore. There are destinies at the mercy of your grace. Go and restore. Go and restore. Go and restore. Some of you, it may be your loved ones. Some of you, it may be the people in your company. Don't allow witchcraft to keep destroying people. Whereas God has mandated that you will rise, I decree and declare once again, may that grace locate you, the mantle of a restorer, the mantle of a restorer. You may be a man of God and you came here. God brought you here to lift you. In the name of Jesus Christ, obtain that grace. Hallelujah. Hear me. I'm sensing that the direction God is moving us tonight, there are people God is isolating. I'm hearing the word chosen. Like you have been selected among the crowd in many some of you in your family out of 10 people i'm hearing that word chosen bring them out chosen it's like there is a mantle that is selecting people for assignments strategic prophetic assignments bring them out please chosen this is what i'm hearing in my spirit chosen chosen predestined chosen Oh, you have been chosen. You may not look like it, but there is a, a grace upon you. Bring them out. I'm saying it again. You may not look like it, but you have been chosen. That mantle is looking for you. That mantle is looking for you, male and female. Apostle, I may not be educated. You are still chosen in the name of Jesus Christ. Chosen, bring them out. Chosen by the Spirit of God, chosen by the Spirit of grace, chosen. He told Jeremiah, do not say I am a child, but everywhere I shall send you to, you shall go. And to whoever I shall instruct you, 
you will say that which I've asked you to say. I'm declaring by the Spirit that mantle is still looking for people. You are chosen. You are chosen. Chosen by the Spirit of God. Out of your family members, out of different people, you may not look like it, but the grace is still on you. The Bible says you are a chosen generation it calls you a royal priesthood it says you are a holy nation a peculiar people mandated to show forth the praises is the word doxazo of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light into his marvelous light I'm seeing the number four and I'm hearing is an impartation for the prophetic, the eyes of the seer. Four, just four people. I'm seeing that mantle is coming on you right now. The eyes, help them please, my God. The eyes of the seer. I activate that prophetic. May that mantle rest upon you. The eyes of the seer, authentic manifestation of the prophetic. I set you on fire. I ignite your sight in the spirit. The number four, the prophetic. Probably someone came here to receive that grace. You came here crying for that manifestation. You need it for your life and ministry. I declare over you, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Please don't be distracted. God is moving in the midst of his people. The prophetic, the prophetic, men and women together, men and women together. Some of you, this thing came, is, is even in your lineage, your physical lineage, but you are yet to carry that mantle. I release that grace, I release that grace. It comes upon you right now. Hallelujah. I'm hearing someone with the name Favor. The Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life. I don't know who that person is. Your name is Favor. I'm declaring who is Favor. In the name of Jesus, every shame and every reproach and everything that is not of God. I'm hearing the name favor and the Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life. I prophesy over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please make sure that this prophecy is for you. Don't just come out carelessly. I stretch my hands right now. The anointing that releases the grace upon your name. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Let favor follow you. In the morning, favor. In the afternoon, favor. In the night, favor. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing a prophetic word. And God is speaking to someone. I would not say things like that except God to told me. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. I don't know who that person is, but this is what God is saying. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. Just help them. It may not be easy, but please just manage them. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. I, I don't know who that person is, but I'm speaking by the prophetic. How you will get there, you may not know. But I call upon the God of Jeshurun. Since he has spoken, 
I place grace upon your life and I move you by prophecy. Locate destiny, locate destiny, locate destiny right now. Listen, listen. I use this prophetic word as a point of contact. Anyone who is currently in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny, I relocate you to your place of destiny. I relocate you to your place of destiny. I'm saying it again. There may be a man of God. The reason why you are not succeeding is you are not in the place assigned. I relocate you to your place assigned. There is a location for every mantle. And Isaac sowed in that land, not any land, that land. There are lands when you sow into, you go down. He said, Abraham, come out of your father's house and out of your kindred to a land that I will show you. And in the obedience of your advancement, I will make you a great nation. I will make your name great. There are many people, the reason why you are grounded is because you are not discerning. And hear me, there are many people abroad whose destinies are not abroad. They are suffering and wasting time. Greener pasture is not in a physical location. Greener pasture is in the voice of God. Anybody wrongly located across the globe, I take you back to your place of destiny. Can we release the grace for speed? Why do we pray for speed? Most of you, listen, you must understand. Now here, I want you to help the ushers. There are thousands of people and there's only so much the ushers can do. All right? So, um, especially if you are a worker in this ministry, once it's time, please help the ushers. There's only so much they can do. I promise that I was going to work with time. Do you know why I release the grace for speed? Because I have discovered, listen to me. There are two systems of advantage as far as dominion over time is concerned. Number one is restoration. Number two is speed. These are the twin forces that help men to catch up in destiny. For some of you, many things have left you behind. But I want to release that grace. And when I, please, I want you to help them because people will start running. And so I want you to help them. I stretch my hands. By the mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic, I decree and declare, for every destiny that has been grounded, I introduce to your life right now, the grace for speed, release, receive it right now. Speed, 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 speed. Receive that grace. Speed, speed. I command it, I declare it, I decree it over your life. Man of God, speed. Businessman, speed. Elijah, receive speed in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to rebuke spirits. For as long as I live, no demonic spirit around my vicinity and over my people will survive. I, I already sense fire. Matesh Ali Kapa. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And every spirit that has oppressed your life is about to jump out of your life. Are you ready now? I decree and declare that at the count of three, every spirit, witchcraft, every manipulation, 
connected to bloodline you must let god's people go now are you ready one two three shout jesus leave your destinies now leave your destiny out of their lives now out of their destinies now please bring them out very quickly bring them out very quickly i decree and declare every foul spirit every unclean spirit it's time for you to leave let god's people go now Bring them out very quickly. Wicked spirits that will not allow destinies to go. I'm praying again. Every spirit tying down anyone here. Any man, any woman. I'm saying it again. At the count of three, let the fire fall. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Let the fire fall. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hello, Madonna. I will, I will say it again when it's time to prophesy. But I just had the opening of a key and I saw a door open. And I want to declare it. I don't know who that is for, but there is a strong grace that is coming upon you as I speak now. And you will be surprised to see doors open. Lord, as Apareke to Sekete Bash, Makebrake, help that lady. Doors be open now. Doors. Be open now. Doors be open now. Doors be open now. I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it. I say it again, it may not be for everybody, but for someone who are prayed, you are fasted in the name of Jesus Christ, my God and your God. I say it again, doors be open now. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors of ministry, marital doors, fruitfulness doors, financial doors, a fata be open. Hallelujah. Who is Sylvester? I'm hearing a name, Sylvester. Who is that? Your name is Sylvester. What do you do, my friend? I want to pray for you. How long have you been in a medical practice? This will be my 10th year. Your 10th year. Are you planning to go abroad? I have been, I've been trying. Your season has come. Your destiny, listen to me. I will not call you out and tell you nonsense, my friend. I fear God, huh? But I'm telling you that there is a very supernatural manifestation of God's grace. Listen, in your practice, there is a height that God is going to take you to that will surprise you. <laughs> Sylvester. There is someone, the power of God is coming on you. You are a lawyer. I'm seeing, because I'm seeing in a vision and I'm seeing that person wearing the, the uh, week for lawyers and I'm seeing the power of God rest upon you and the Lord is saying his opening is a new season I don't know where that person is but right now you are a lawyer the power of God is resting upon you 
It's a new season. Do not look down on yourself. That profession is your ministry. And the hand of God is there. Sylvester, I want to pray for you, all of you who are out. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Seven years, exactly. Please listen to the word before you come out. We have to hurry up. Seven years, you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Seven. I know there are many people, but this is seven. A woman, seven years. Is there someone like that? Let me pray for you right now because I'm saying there is grace to declare over you. Sylvester, I stretch my hands, all of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the helper of men. I decree and declare by the Spirit of the living God, the prophetic word that God has declared upon you, in the name of Jesus Christ, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you. Seven years. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, you see, God's word is not a suggestion. When God's word comes, it truly comes to bring liberty. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Please make sure it's that specific word. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I declare like Elisha said to the Shunammite woman, according to the time of life. It doesn't matter how it has been before now. Now that your word has come, in the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit that is responsible for barrenness, the spirit that is responsible for loss of children, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Are you standing for yourself, my dear? No, 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 no. This lady, you are standing for yourself. Yes, sir. Where is your husband? He's not here. Where is he? He's at home. Where is home? Look beside. Let the mercy of God speak over your marriage. Amen. Say amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And every legal access the devil has over your home, I declare it broken now. Amen. Madam, this woman lifting her hands. Shout Jesus. Jesus! It's over completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I stretch my hands over these precious women and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, whatever has been responsible for this barrenness, loss of children, we don't care what it is. We correct it right now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I release grace upon you that according to the time of life, return with your miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. God bless you in Jesus name place your hand let me pray for the sick now I just said place your hand and I just saw a thermometer go down every time I see that that is high blood pressure that's BP there's someone you have suffered this demonic thing the power of God is coming on that person right now I'm seeing that the person is in this row you are somewhere al along this row I don't know who that person is the Holy Spirit is ministering to me that the person is somewhere along that row the power of God is coming on that person I assure you this visions don't lie the power of God is touching someone I saw a thermometer go down in the name of Jesus Christ please place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle, I want to pray for the sick now. If it's your head, go ahead. If it's a blood condition, just lay your hands on your chest. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact. Please believe in the healing ministry. Believe in the healing ministry. There's no reason to sit down and die for nothing. Believe in the healing ministry. Lay your hands, just keep it there. You sent your word and it healed my disease you are the lord my healer that he led me
there's someone you are already having signs signs of rheumatoid arthritis i have to pray for you half of you you are already having a very serious i'm not a medical doctor i'm just describing what god is showing me a a tingly feeling you know like like shock something your your body is getting numb i want you to connect by faith and those who are it's incredible how many people connect to our miracle services from several hospitals and the testimonies that have come is very humbling and here is a chance again we thank god for doctors they are a symbol of god's mercy but in addition to that which they do we are connecting by faith to release the healing power of jesus i truly believe that jesus heals lay your hands what money cannot do what doctors may not even be able to do jesus the healer is about to touch you right now keep your hands there i want to minister the power of god the power of god is just flowing right now and touching people there are two people who are going to shout very loud the moment that happens the healing power of god will begin to flow honestly i do not know why but this is what god is ministering to me very loud shout two of them the moment that happens the healing power of jesus will begin to flow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 are you lord The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every devil, every unclean spirit that is responsible for sicknesses and infirmity. By the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the blood of the eternal covenant, I declare right now, be healed in Jesus' name. Mm, miracles are happening. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Frequent urination. I don't know the name of the medical condition but frequent urination sometimes if you are not cheerful and you don't hurry up you is almost as if you are going to ease yourself on yourself I declare right now that demonic case let it come to an end now I've seen this a number of times and I've announced it a woman who is not nursing she's not a nursing mother and yet she's lactating I don't know if that is good or bad, but I think it's bad. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that demonic occurrence dies permanently from your body. I'm still praying. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, thou art welcome in this place. I conditions in the name of Jesus, every kind of eye condition here represented by the power of the Holy Spirit be healed now Amen. ear conditions I command healing by the Spirit of God Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. there's someone you have a problem with your kidneys I don't know if you are aware or not but in the name of Jesus Christ I declare healing right now Amen. there's someone I'm seeing that you are watching from South Africa you are suffering from kidney stones. This is what the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. From South Africa, kidney stones. In the name of Jesus, be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Lord is showing me a lady who is connecting from Canada. 
this is Ontario in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare this heart palpitation heart palpitation be healed right now be healed right now there is a mother I'm seeing maybe at least maybe has it should not be less than her 60s she's watching from Bauchi state from Bauchi state in the name of Jesus the son of the living God mama be healed now I'm also seeing a woman who is connecting you are watching by your daughter's phone this is what I'm seeing you're using your daughter's phone to watch you have been having dreams and seeing dead people people who have died calling you in the name of Jesus we extend your life to be consistent with God's program we extend your life and my declaration for that woman is what I'm declaring over you no untimely death for you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus The someone is a blood related case I don't know if it's HIV or something in the name of Jesus the son of the living God HIV God is healing you now God is healing you now God is healing you now As someone suffering from peptic ulcer peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus Christ I declare be healed now There's something they call mums, where the side of your your um, your mouth, your cheek area, begins to swell. Now, there's someone you don't have that case, but this is what is happening. It's not mums, but you are having that discomfort. It's like it's you know it's swelling. I don't know whether you are here or any of the overflows. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching that person right now. Right now. Right now right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus right now the power of God is touching that person right now there's what we call dementia where you begin to forget I'm seeing someone's father suffering that the power of God is coming upon you right now for the sake of your father He's beginning to forget names and forget people and forget places. He will have to be reminded. I'm seeing pictures in front of him. They have to try to remind him of several things. In the name of Jesus, dementia, you go now. You go now. Wow. The Lord is showing me a very interesting situation. I'm seeing a surgery room. Now, it may not be, it may be something in a vision. I'm seeing a surgery room currently as I'm speaking, and they're operating someone. And with what I'm seeing in my vision, that person will not wake up again. This is what I'm seeing. And the Lord is saying we should change that situation. I don't know who the person is, but I'm seeing them open up someone. And while the work is ongoing, I'm seeing complication that is developed. And once they are done with the surgery, they may say the person bled. And could not survive it but because it has been revealed we knock upon the door of life and we command preservation I don't know who is going through surgery right now every complication being scheduled by Satan in the name of Jesus we overturn by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ now whether I mention your case or not by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus be healed now 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 we're about to submit our prayer request very quickly we may not have the time to collect testimonies because I promise that we're going to finish on time but listen very carefully there is just one person I know that there are many people but there's one person here you have been praying desperately and desiring the healing anointing to really come upon your life it's been your prayer unto God 
I know that there might be several people, what God says to one, he says to all, but God is showing me, I'm not talking of casual, passive, blind desire. Genuine is been pressing upon your heart. You have cried and you have desired the healing anointing. The Lord is saying it is yours right now. I don't know who that person is, but the power of God is coming upon you. You will truly carry the healing anointing. Truly carry the healing anointing. You will truly carry the healing anointing. Just give me a minute and let God do what he's doing. That's, I've just been asked not to say anything, just to keep quiet and allow God do what he's doing. Mighty God. one minute God is doing an impartation very strong impartation strong impartation of graces strong impartation strong impartation See, ladies and gentlemen let me tell you something when you walk with God one of the things you must master is the ability to be sensitive in the spirit sensitivity in the spirit is gold you must know how to respond to the impulses of the spirit being anointed is not enough the administration of the anointing is sensitivity dependent you would lose out on many prophetic things that God intends to do simply because you do not have the eyes that see and the ears that hear just 10 or 20 more seconds and then we'll be ready to pray God is not done this thing is the healing anointing. You know? I'm talking of the healing anointing. This is what is coming so that there's no, it's not just a random impartation.
Hear what the Lord is saying, I should tell someone. I will help you. I'm hearing help. The Lord is saying you have labored, you have tried by yourself and by your own strength. I am coming into your life to help you. This is what God is saying. This may not be for everybody, but he is called the helper. God is saying you have tried and tried. I don't know in what area you have tried, you have exhausted your options. In fact, you came into Koinonia, you came for service tonight. You're not just confused, you've exhausted everything. But in the name of Jesus, the helper is visiting you. Ebenezer, the helper of man. In the name of Jesus, the helper is holding your hands. The helper is holding your destiny. You are about to experience help from the helper. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Now very quickly, I want everybody open your mouth and begin to pray if you can while you submit your prayer request. Please no distraction. This is a very prophetic atmosphere. Now just submit your request to the last person by your left or right very quickly for the sake of time. Don't worry, no one is reading your request. Just quickly submit so that you make the work easy for ushers. Ushers, let's get this done very quickly. While that is happening, we are praying in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. You are receiving through prayer. The Bible says, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it in that place of prayer, and thou shalt have it. Submit your prayer request. What's the first stanza of this song again? There are kings. There are kingdoms, there are mountains and there are thrones, but only a shadow will wait forever. To this kingdom there'll be no only a shadow. Please let me have all the, the prayer requests. Let's make it fast. There is a very serious impartation God wants me to do now. Please, I want you to pay attention. Don't be distracted. How many of you believe that there is actually the power to get wealth? There is the skill that you can exchange and it can bring you financial rewards but truly ladies and gentlemen i want you to hear me there is an anointing called the power to get wealth unfortunately most people who talk about money talk about it from a mundane carnal standpoint with no kingdom attachment whatsoever it's just for self-aggrandizement and to sponsor the flesh this is not and will never be the objective the goal behind anything god gives whatever god gives is for the benefit of the individual but more importantly for the profiting of the kingdom hallelujah now everybody needs money we live in a world that is driven by economy and the bible says he sent a word to jacob and it lighted upon israel Koinonia is blessed to have very wealthy and successful people, humble people in fact. But let me tell you the truth. There is a grace that can come upon a man and truly cause that man to begin to prosper. There is a grace that can come upon a ministry. There is a grace that can come upon a company and a business and begin to shift you and gravitate you towards unusual levels of value through wisdom unusual levels of favor access to the gifts of men witty ideas supernatural innovations 
and as i as i just stayed here waiting for them to drop the request the lord just put it in my spirit that i should minister that grace it may not be for everybody and this is not just about shouting and jumping this this is there is a real grace the power to prosper according to deuteronomy 8 18 it says but thou shalt remember the lord thy god for it is he that giveth thee power to prosper the lord gives men power to prosper he said thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads we walk through water and through fire but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place in genesis chapter 12 from verse 2 and 3 it says i will bless you and i will make your name great i will bless them that bless you and curse him that curseth you and it says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed second corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9 says ye know the grace of our lord jesus christ that though he was rich yet for your sake he became poor that ye through his poverty might be rich second corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 it says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency that you will abound in every good work i want to pray over you there is such a grace as the power to prosper it is the cure for foundational poverty it is the cure for this living from hand to mouth an individual can be blessed of god with proof now finances is not the only dimension of the blessing of god in fact it is the least of the dimensions when god releases the power to prosper it is not money he gives no money is a product it is bought with another kind of capital called true riches this is what comes upon you and i want to pray we only pray as people who have been shown mercy by the god of heaven but i want you to believe me there is a definite impartation that can translate to economic well-being in the life of an individual and even of an organization do not despise this impartation for many of you, it will be your bailout system from debt, from borrowing, from begging, living from hand to mouth. Compromise is all because of money. In the name of Jesus, I stand upon this grace and I pray, stretching my hand over someone, the grace that causes ordinary men to prosper in such an extraordinary way. The grace that was upon Isaac that made him to sow in that land and to receive that same year an hundredfold and the bible says the man began to prosper he went forward he advanced until he became very great and even until the philistines envied him i stretch my hands at the count of three let that grace come on someone and rewrite your financial story one two three take that grace now take that grace now the power to prosper I release that grace. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Koinonia, receive it into your spirit. Receive it into your spirit. The power to prosper. Rise above every economic climate. In the name of Jesus. That by this anointing in famine you shall laugh. When men say there is a casting down. Economically you will say there is a lifting up. By this anointing, I forbid you from begging. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch forth your hands towards this prayer request. And I want you to begin to declare by the Spirit. All over the globe, let's begin to pray. Go ahead, begin to pray. Declare by the Spirit. We are praying over this request, even by the Spirit. Is someone praying? Go ahead declare these Egyptians that I see today I see no more forever we're praying the Bible says to be anxious for nothing but it says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it said let your request be made known unto God Philippians 4 and verse 6 someone is praying it says ye have not because you ask not someone is declaring by the spirit arise O god 
release miracles over these requests. Let God's people return with testimonies. All the requests that have been collated from all across the globe, in the name of Jesus, we declare the requests online, the requests here on ground, and in every other viewing center, every expression, anywhere and everywhere. In the name of Jesus, we declare by the Spirit, supernatural answer to prayers, supernatural answer to prayers, supernatural answer to prayers, supernatural answer to prayers. Shabrekatebelekatos. One more minute. You are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now agree with me as I pray. In the name of Jesus. Every request here is turned to a testimony. I say it again that in the name of Jesus. Every request here is turned to a testimony. Not only a testimony is turned to a speedy testimony. Every situation that needs to change here, we declare it changed. Every situation here that calls for favor, we command favor. Every situation here that will require the gift of men, we command the gift of men. Every situation here that requires warfare, we declare that the enemy is defeated. Every situation here that calls for judgment, we announce judgment right now. And I prophesy to you that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Now it's time to declare over your life and then I'll make the altar call. Just give me the next five minutes and we're done. I want to declare over your life. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. It's time to receive now. The Bible says in Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. Please give us media. Ezra 6, 14. The Bible says that they prospered through the prophesyings of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And they built and they finished it. The Bible says. And then Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13. The Bible says. And by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet they were preserved. Second Chronicles 20 and verse 20. Believe in the Lord thy God. So shall you be established. It says believe in his prophets. So shall ye prosper. Hallelujah. I want to declare over your life in numbers i believe chapter 23 when you read 19 to 20 when balak came to call um balaam to go and curse the people of god he said i have received commandment to bless and i have blessed and it cannot be reversed i want to declare over your life there is a sworn blessing that comes from the lord an irreversible blessing in the name of jesus i declare rise to a new dimension rise to a new dimension a new dimension in the spirit a new dimension in every aspect of your life i decree it in the name of jesus number two i declare for your shame receive double i say it again for your shame receive double for your shame receive double In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, the Bible declares that God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Every manifestation of fear in your life, I cause it right now. I cause fear, the fear of death, the fear of the past, the fear of the present, the fear of the future, the fear of men, in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, I decree and declare, for as long as I am alive, I will keep praying this upon your life. The grace for favor. May that grace rest on you. Receive the grace for favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone who is holding something that should be given to you by God, 
I declare may God put it in their heart to release it to you. May my God put it in their heart to release it to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. The Bible says, And thine ear shall hear a voice saying, This is the way. Walk in it when you turn to the left or to the right. Every confusion in your life, you have been praying for direction. This week, find supernatural direction. Find supernatural direction. Find supernatural direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for every career person here. In the name that is above all names the bible declares that the path of the just is as a shining light that shines more and more onto the perfect day i decree and declare receive the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence after the order of daniel go and excel every failing dying or dead business here hear the word of the lord i command that you jack back to life Hear me, if there is any plot of death already trailing your life or that of your children or that of your family members, in the name of Jesus, I separate you from that spirit. For the Bible declares that the Lord himself will keep you from every evil attack and that he will lead you safely to his heavenly kingdom therefore i declare you will never find yourself in an area that will leave you dead you will never enter a car that will lead you dead in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah when jesus was born the spirit of the antichrist walked through pharaoh and through herod and he asked where the child was the bible says he intended to kill him but then he had a vision and the angels told him depart from here and he departed and went down and stayed for two years until pharaoh died and then he had another vision and he said they that seek the life of the child are dead i decree and declare every strategy god has designed for your safety may it be revealed to you may it be revealed to you in the name of jesus now i understand i have declared over your finances but i know that the happenings around our nation especially for now is put people in a lot of financial pressure there are two people in the bible who never go through famine the king and the prophet these two every time there is famine there is always a system of exemption the king and the prophet when there was famine in Samaria the king already had his abundance and then Elisha together with his band of prophets and he said I am the children that the Lord has given me he says we are for signs and for wonders in Israel therefore I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit I invoke upon your life the mystery of divine supplies may God use men as the raven that came to Elijah at Brook Cherith God will send men to feed you God will send men to see that you do not beg in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray over anyone who is in debt suffering financially personally or corporately in the name of jesus by the power that raised christ from the dead come out of that situation now and finally let me declare the grace that makes for honor upon you to be honored means to be perceived as touching your true worth and to be rewarded to match that level and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren but it was not always so he called him Jabez because the mother bore him in sorrow are we together but Jabez got to a point where he was angry and took destiny by himself and said oh that thou wouldest bless me that and enlarge my coast and that it shall be well with me and the Lord heard him I decree and declare upon your life may the grace for honor rest upon you may the grace for honor rest upon you may the grace for honor rest upon you that come much miracle service you will
hallelujah hallelujah let's save the time please prophetically stretch your hands here and let's begin to declare just for one or two minutes i'm going to pray go ahead and begin to declare we decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit every request are you praying Shabarugati Sekete Baladuziata. Lord, they return as testimonies. Every praise is to our God. Every song of worship is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. One more time. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship brings one accord. Every praise is to our God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we have obeyed you and we have honored you by bringing our requests. For the bible says to be anxious in nothing but it says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving you said we should let our request made be made known unto god father we have brought this as representations of our concerns grant us rest in jesus name shout it louder amen, amen. as i would always say in the name of jesus every prayer request here is turned into a testimony supernatural testimonies most of the testimonies here require favor may that favor work for you in the name of jesus christ any human agent stopping answers to this prayer we clear them out of the way now and i decree and declare as we have spoken and as we have declared let it be so for you you will return back with your testimony in jesus name i pray please lift your hands let me speak over your life thank you for your patience in the name of jesus i decree and declare this week by the power that raised Christ from the dead everything that has not been working everything that represents a disappointment I stand upon this grace and I decree and declare may it begin to work in your life hear me the same way you left your home and you came here and nothing stopped you where you need to live and go to may nothing stop you In the name of Jesus Christ the same way when you left your home there were many roads but you knew the exact road to follow to get to this place every confusion around your life may God show you the exact thing to do now in the name of Jesus for all of you who are here when you got to the gate the gate did not close against you therefore i declare every gate that has closed against you i open it now in the name of jesus christ hear me there are many things you need in your life but you do not have the currency to buy them the wisdom as currency to buy the favor as currency to buy every spiritual currency you need to transact supernaturally and bring to your life results may that currency be supplied you now in the name of jesus hear me if you have submitted anything on the desk of your helper and they have forgotten you this week may it be a week of remembrance for you I prophesy this week may it be a week of remembrance for you hallelujah you are exempted from kidnappers 
I say it again, you and your children are exempted from kidnappers. In the name of Jesus, you are exempted from accidents. You are exempted from the evils of the day. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you finally, this grace called favor that can come upon your life as a mantle and turn your life around i decree and declare it is a signature grace in this ministry therefore i pray carry that grace now carry that grace now find favor with men find favor even with egyptians find favor with systems find favor with structures in the name of jesus be great by favor rise by favor thrive by favor in the name of jesus christ finally everything that has brought tears to your eyes i decree and declare your weeping comes to an end now let it become a season of laughter for you in Jesus name I pray. I hear the chain. I hear the chain. Oh, Number two. Now I want to pray. It's a prayer of restoration. And I see the anointing coming on several people. Hear me. What this grace will do is that everything that left you that should not have gone by this anointing wherever it is it returns back i decree and declare in the name of jesus everything you have lost connections relationships spiritual virtues at the count of three may that fire and that grace that makes for restoration come upon you bring them out one two three help that woman please take that grace now in the name of jesus they are taken for a prey and none say it restore we come with a voice of restoration let there be restoration in the name of jesus everything you have lost let it return to you i prophesy as i was commanded and there was a sound bones came to his bone bones came to his bone business came to his business finances came to finances let there be restoration in the name of jesus christ shout a loud amen let there be restoration now hear me please look at me there are families here you've lost everything literally everything opportunities you were not like this but everything started crashing down finances went down relationships went down connections went down i stand by the power of the holy spirit and i declare by this anointing let that grace come upon you for restoration let that grace come upon you for restoration hear me when saul met prophet samuel the first miracle that happened to him was that everything the donkey that you are looking for has been found there are anointings that can cause everything that strayed from its place of assignment to return back again Now I want to pray. Ah. I don't know how we're going to do it. Let me just pray for those in front first so they can return back. For all of you in front here, I decree and declare by this anointing, experience strange restorations by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you by the anointing that raised Christ from the dead. The grace of priesthood it comes upon you and it brings you restoration in the name of Jesus the son of the living God hallelujah this man that man wearing suit you what do you do my friend where 
Huh? In just your own ministry, I want to pray for you. You are a sincere man. Please don't be embarrassed. I don't mean to embarrass you. You are a sincere man, but there is so there are so many things for you to learn and understand. But in truth, the call of God is upon your life. And you have been praying and crying that God will anoint you. Please lift your hands. An anointing is coming upon you. You will shift into dimensions of the teaching grace and the healing anointing. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Help him please. You will never be the same. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit. He's shifting you to a new dimension. I impart that grace upon you. Access to the wisdom of the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Madam, this woman wearing green. Mama, something is coming on you. I'm seeing like oil being poured on her head. In the name of Jesus. It's bringing you to a separation by the Spirit of God. And God is going to be doing great and mighty things even in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is the Son of the living God. For all those in front here, I declare you are blessed. In Jesus name. If you can, please return to your seat. I want to minister the power of the Holy Spirit now. That's why I want them to clear the way. Now please hear me. I believe that everyone who names the name of Christ should be free from any and all kinds of demonic influences. Look at me. The spirits, wicked spirits, are behind the tragedies and the ills that are in the lives of men and families. Believe it or not. He said, I desire to come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. He's hindered families. I want to pray. Some of you will marvel and wonder. Can I tell you, most of the things you wrote here as a prayer request, demon spirits walk like an octopus. They will touch several aspects of your life and confuse you, but it's one and the same spirit. But when that spirit, by the authority of the name of Jesus, is taken out of the way, I have seen what the power of God can do over demons and I can have seen the testimonies that come when people are genuinely set free. I am come, he said, that ye may have life and that you have it more abundantly. It is a thief that cometh not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. Now I want to pray. There are spirits that have sat upon the destinies of men some of you mysterious occurrences around your life that will not let you go forward i want to pray i want to that's why i said clear the way because they are going to bring some other people here at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus it is a name that is above every other name exalted as lord and christ and as you shout that name every planting that is not of god must give way it's time for your liberty it says to open up the prisons to those that are bound. To set the captives free. Father, I decree and declare that in the name of he that died and rose again, exalted as Lord and Christ, every spirit that is not of the Christ, standing the way of your people, as they shout, the healer, let it be like the crumbling of the walls of Jericho. Are you ready now? At the count of three, shout that name, Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command those devils, go now. I command those spirits, release their destinies now. Bring them out. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I break every yoke. I command every activity of witchcraft and diabolism. It leaves you now, releasing your destiny. I declare that release. I command Satan, let God's people go free. In the name of Jesus, blotting out every handwriting and ordinances that spoke against us. He nailed it to his cross. And if the Son sets you free, you are free indeed. I declare your liberty. I declare your liberty from affliction, your liberty from every demonic activity.
bring them out hallelujah now please hear me the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing chains on people's hands your hand is a symbol of your productivity i want to pray for you the fire of god is coming and bringing you great deliverance i'm seeing the number 21 21 people i'm seeing that this fire is coming upon them right now i decree and declare wherever you are by the power that raised christ from the dead I command those chains be broken right now. Chains be broken, be broken. Help them, please. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Chains be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Chains be broken. Bring them out. The setting of the same Your name is to be honored The rising of the sun To the setting of the same Your name, Your name is to be honored hallelujah who is by the name stephanie i'm hearing a name stephanie is there someone with that name stephanie the lord wants to visit you right now the stephanie i'm seeing is wearing red complete red is there someone like that stephanie please don't come out jealously make sure that you fall into this category stephanie I want to pray for you what he says to one he says to all I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that every planting that is not of God by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare it comes to an end now agree with them and shout amen in the name of Jesus wow i just saw light across the minister stand i shouldn't say this but i just saw light i i saw the anointing coming on two people right now just on the, the minister's seat just light and the lord is saying a season is coming to an end and another season is opening i don't know who that is for but in the name of jesus i stretch my hands by the power of the holy spirit let it be so in the name of jesus christ even one of the ministers is receiving a grace for prayer the spirit of prayer and supplication that grace help them please my god please help them in the name of jesus that grace for prayer and supplication is coming upon you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i don't know if there is a woman here they call you mama grace is there someone like that i just heard that i don't know if it's your daughter that is grace but it's like they call you mama grace of grace that's in house the mother of grace Please, if there's someone like that, I want to pray for you. We're going to be praying for the sick shortly. But I just heard that, and then I'll pray for you. Who is Joel? Joel. I'm hearing a name, Joel. Is there someone with such a name? Please don't tell lies. Make sure Jesus is here. Joel. Joel. Mama, who did they call Mama Grace? You, Mama? Can I pray for you? Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. The Lord himself by his spirit is doing a new thing. 
I'm seeing the Lord heal someone right now. I'm seeing someone you've been experiencing signs of arthritis. We're going to pray for the sick right now. Signs of arthritis. But right now that pain is living in the name of Jesus Christ. That pain is living right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama Grace, I'm still hearing that name again. I presume that there might be a number of women but we'll just stand by faith and pray for the ones we have here in the name of Jesus Christ this right here someone is going to shout loud under the anointing there pick the person and bring the person just write down the anointing I just saw like fire there might be shouts elsewhere but right here Mighty God. Hmm. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is too good. I will worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is true below. I know a God who is merciful and kind, faithful and gracious. On the apple of his eyes, the thoughts that fills his heart, Every morning, no night. He loved me when I didn't care and, and was patient till I came, running, running back, back into his arms. Oh, oh, this will be your testimony. Look how he he's turned my life around. Baby, like a shining light. His glory to reveal. I will worship. I will worship Him forever. Love Him forever. Just because this God is too good. I will worship You, Lord. I will worship Him forever. Love Him forever. Because this God. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the power of God will come on one of you here. The moment that happens, the Lord is bringing healing and deliverance. Just one of you who is in front here. Very quickly, I already begin to sense the healing anointing. I just saw an anointing coming on one of you who is in front here. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, I decree and declare, let that be so for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my attention is distracted there please um, I want you to help the person who the power of God comes upon right now I just saw oil being poured just straight down this road majesty Now in the name of Jesus, I declare for all of you who are out here, may the Lord visit you and visit your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord visit you and visit your children. In the name of Jesus, I'm about to pray for the sick now. Twelve years trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that? Twelve years. I'm seeing the number twelve. Twelve years. Please don't just come out anyhow. Just let's just 12 years. Ah, salvation has come to you. Who is that person? 12 years. 12 years. Let's celebrate Jesus. It is coming to an end. I know you are here. Here in your power. 
I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit, I know you are here. Here in your glory, I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit, I know you are here. Here in your glory, I know you are here. Sweet Holy Spirit, I know you are here. You are here to take us higher. I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit. Now, hold on, please. I'm going to ask Pastor Nat, listen. There are many of you who are called into prophetic worship. Now hear me. Help them please. He's going to blow the trumpet. And hear me. As he blasts that trumpet from the depth of the spirit. A mantle and a grace is going to rest upon you. Please hear me. Doing music is not just about singing. It's a spiritual affair. Some of you will draw songs from the realm of the spirit. Some of you will hear melodies in the night. Some of you who are instrumentalists will lay your hands from tonight. And it will be a different sound. Are you ready? There will be a mighty baptism. It doesn't matter what auditorium. My God. A sound is coming. By the spirit of grace. And upon this sound. There will be an awakening. A prophetic awakening. From within your spirit. Yes sir. Oh, spring up your wells. We call set prophetic fountain. Mistrials of glory. Prophetic psalmistry. We decree and declare. Let that grace and that mantle rest upon you. Songs of deliverance. Songs in the night. Songs of worship. We find the altar of worship. Afresh again. Afresh again. Let fire fall upon your ministry. dimension new seasons new seasons pastor sam the lord is just telling me to tell you truly that he's bringing you into a new season in ministry that your influence will start rising beyond gombe state this is what god is saying god will begin to draw people to come and drink from you that are beyond that state and that grace by the spirit of grace may that grace rest upon you and it will start as the ministry of prayer and then it will move to the prophetic prayer and the prophetic in the name of jesus may god make that happen for you by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare let those wells be opened by the spirit in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah now hear me hear me i'm seeing the grace of the intercessor and i'm seeing the number 40 many of them women there is a prophetic grace for prayer and intercession at the count of three that mantle is coming on people right now prayer groups intercessory groups will arise by the spirit one my god two three Take that fire now. Latu, let the grace for intercession fall upon you. Women of prayer, women of power, women that wail until prophecy is broken over the state, over families. We decree by the decree of the watchman. Help that woman, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, 
Jesus Christ. By the decree of the watchman, let it be so. We establish it as an ordinance in the realm of the spirit that the incense of prayer will arise from the battle and even to the heaven. Now, I want to pray for the sick. I believe in the healing ministry. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Angels and sweet angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. My sister, this lady wearing yellow, lift your hands. I'm seeing oil coming on your head. And the Lord is saying he's opening you up to a new season. In the name of Jesus, may that anointing come upon your life and shift you to a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Says that the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. 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 Worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy are No one, Jesus, there is no one, my darling, there is no one, Jesus, there is no one else like you, there's no one, Jesus, there is no one, darling, there is no
healing power of Jesus is flowing. And all to you we lift our voice in praise. You are the Lamb upon the throne. I have experienced the healing power of Jesus in my own life. I know that he heals please lay your hand right now where you are trusting God for a healing miracle I want you to believe in the power of Jesus to heal you can bring the requests up while we do that so we hurry up right now please lay your hands wherever it is your head lay your hands there as a point of contact I tell you there's there's such mighty anointing to heal right now something is happening all of the overflows everywhere the power of God to heal you are the Lamb you are the Lamb hallelujah now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest as a point of contact and for all of you who are following, you're watching from your homes, you're watching from wherever, whatever TV station, here is your chance to experience the power of Jesus from America to Europe to Asia, here in Africa, all of the states connected and following. Here is your chance to experience the miracle working power of Jesus. I want you to believe as I pray. Listen, miracles are not superstitions. They are direct products of the power of God in the life of a believing Christian. That you believe he's able to heal you. Then he comes to heal. Agree with me as I pray. Now hear me. Our time is up and I don't intend to keep us unnecessarily long. But we have to do this very quickly. I'm just going to be praying for one or two minutes. The moment I pray for you, a miracle, already miracles are already happening everywhere. Inside here, outside, for those of you who came, you came and probably miracles were already happening to you. Now, as I pray for you, I want you to believe and receive by faith. Remember I taught you the law of faith? When I pray for you, I'm going to request that you do what you could not do. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, may I please request for sake of time that you use either this place in front by my left or that place by my right. The moment the power of God touches you and you find out that you could do something, a relief, the growth is gone, the pain is gone, you couldn't walk, now you can walk, you were blind, now you can see. I will request when I ask you to, to run out and stand here and we'll take a few of the testimonies before we pray finally over the requests and then we're done for the night make sure you do not sit back as his power touches you perhaps you may have received a miracle yesterday and you didn't have the time to prophesy when those who are coming out are coming out you can join them very quickly when i say in jesus name please shout a believing amen in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ I decree and declare right now every spirit of infirmity here upon this ground and here upon the plateau we decree and declare in the name of he who died and was raised by the glory of the father seated and exalted even Jesus I decree and declare that your hold over God's people is broken now in the name of Jesus now I decree and declare be healed now be healed now from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now I release miracles in the name of Jesus I command blind eyes to be opened now whether partial blindness complete blindness be healed now deafness be healed in the name of Jesus every blood condition I rebuke that condition in the name of Jesus lumps 
the Lord is showing me lumps of all kinds I declare that those lumps disappear now hepatitis be healed now HIV be healed now cancer be healed now fibroids be healed now cardiovascular conditions be healed now bone conditions you came here on crutches you came here using an aid be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone I'm seeing you can't see very well in fact it's, it's almost as if one eye is completely blind but right now as I'm praying you are from a distance the power of God will come upon you and you will see that you can see clearly right now in the name of Jesus bone conditions be healed right now I'm seeing a young lady who came here you are SS in the name of Jesus Christ we change that genotype now by the power of the Holy Ghost peptic ulcer be healed right now lower abdominal pain be healed right now pain around your vertebra be healed in the name of Jesus severe waist pain in the name of Jesus the Lord is healing you there's someone you have just healed around your body in Jesus name be healed now now there's someone you have a condition it looks like mums you know what mums are where there's one is swelling at the side of your cheek but it's been there for a while you would notice that the contour of your face one side looks swollen than the other you've seen this you've prayed you've done your best but it's not gone right now I command that that condition is restored in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you're a young man but you get tired very easily almost like a very old person you can't stand for long I declare be healed right now now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God here at this conference be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name now very quickly I want you to check yourself and do what you couldn't do the moment you find out that there is a miracle boldly make your way to the front right now let's celebrate them as you come check yourself check yourself in any of the overflows the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you you've been healed relieved of any pain migraine headaches going make your way to the front are you celebrating miracles people are coming out very quickly make your way boldly to the front look at miracles are happening my goodness are you seeing what is happening here what are you turning to wine open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you i like you please can we have one or two pastors just help me into the darkness we shine Out of the ashes we rise Whether inside or outside I'm seeing angelic activities The Lord is bringing an end To very strange mysterious occurrences Bring them everywhere all over the overflows there's something mysterious God is removing from lives and families bring them out we're talking about the power of Jesus here bring them out you can't stand it it's not it is this is a word from God God is separating you he's bringing something out you will be surprised at the testimonies that come by this remember Christ is revealed as the power of God there are still more people I saw so many people in my visions that anointing is coming on you all over the overflow outside literally an anointing will lift you from your seat literally ah. 
Ala Shabraski Badi Kaparuti Akata Krakete Peleketia Let the end come now In the name of Jesus let the end come now Captivity always has an end Let the end come now Around the balconies I'm seeing angelic activities Around the balconies In the name of Jesus let the end come now Let the end come now In the name of Jesus Christ let the end you, you can't stand this is the power of god come who can stand against the lord no one can no one will who can stand against our king no one can, no one will. Oh, 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 victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Oh, 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 just the patient will take the testimonies but God is doing something here right now I'm looking at 14 people 14 people I'm looking at you in the spirit but I'm not seeing a face I'm seeing you covered you know how you want to shoot a criminal and you wear something on their face like a hood the Lord is lifting that hood right now that is a garment of shame 14 people the power of God is coming on you now 14 people the garment of shame the garment of shame Parakotos Ketepata we tear off that garment now from your destiny tear off that garment from your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ that lady the third row first second third i command that spirit to let you go now in the name of jesus the third row in front i rebuke that devil let her go now now in the name of jesus release her i'm seeing that lady tied with what looks like snakes let her go now who is chinedu i'm hearing a name chinedu who is that chinedu name of Jesus Christ by the spirit of the living God help them please I decree right now may that grace and that unction my goodness let it come upon you right now take that grace take that grace take that anointing help that lady please supernatural favor I decree and declare I place it as a mantle upon your head go and excel I shift systems and structures by the power of prophecy may that grace rest upon you find favor with systems find favor with structures find favor with Egyptians find favor with kings in the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is honor is a grace. Listen. 
you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another honor is a grace that is transferable do you know what is is honor honor means to be seen for who you truly are and to be rewarded to match the true worth of your person that's what honor means favor means to be preferred but honor means to be given the regard that befits your sacrifice you can be great but if honor is not on you you will not be rewarded to match your true worth let me show you a scripture numbers 27 from verse 18 to 20 let's hurry up for time we're wrapping up now the lord said unto moses take the joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit already and lay your hands upon him is that in your bible verse 2 it says set him before Eliaza the priest and before all the congregation and give him a charge in their sight verse 20 please read it if you're a christian one to read and thou shalt put some of your honor on him that all the congregation of the children of israel may be obedient people don't listen to you just because you are sincere there is honor that comes upon you call moses he's already filled with the holy spirit but lay your hands upon him and then in anointing him don't leave him like that transfer some of your honor to him honor is transferable can I pray for you father just help those under the anointing I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that grace right now may it rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ that grace for honor everything that has despised your grace everything that has despised the investment of God upon your life I change that narrative by this mantle in the name of Jesus Christ help them please in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah who is Joseph Joseph I'm hearing a name Joseph who is that Joseph we're wrapping up what do you do my friend I cannot what do you hold on what do you do what do you do who is a who is a music minister here you is, is he a member huh you sing listen to me you see that prayer on the iron gate go and pray that prayer when you go back i want to pray for you because truly god wants to lift you but this this is not just by human connections is not what this is by the spirit i pray for you in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god may that grace that gives visibility something is coming on you right now take that grace now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same take that grace by the power of the holy spirit anybody here that works in access bank access bank access bank
Oh, I know him. I didn't even know he was one. There are strange liftings that are coming to people in this place. I stretch my hands, three of you, I, you don't have to kneel. In the name of Jesus Christ, I place an anointing upon you that in the marvelous name of Jesus Christ, this grace for favor, let it come upon you right now for your lifting. You take that grace, find favor, even with your administrators in the name of jesus and every conspiracy of darkness to implicate you we cancel it right now by the blood of the lamb in the mighty name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ two more prayers i want to release the grace for speed truly there is a grace for speed now hear me i don't know how we're going to do it i just have maybe less than two three minutes and i'm done thank you for your patience with me but i want to release this grace from the depth of my heart i told you true dominion is dominion over time now whether you're an usher or not please help me in this prayer because the hand of god will come on people and they will start running physically i want you to help them so they don't injure themselves and you can bring them out right now i stretch my hands this this ministry would be characterized by and with a strange order of speed i stretch my hands at the count of three my god i'm just seeing fire rest on people please bring us under the anointing right now at the count of three one bring them up two Three, take that grace now. Help them. Speed, speed. Help them, please. My God, speed, speed. Receive that grace. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab. I command speed, speed in business, speed in ministry, speed in career. I cause the root of delay by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I cause a bakato shenegata. Prateske tebe katosiata. Emprakatos katia. Receive speed. Receive speed. Receive speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. you'll never be the same speed 10 years in one year 10 years i prophesy 10 years in one year the result of 10 years in one year 10 years in one year in the name of jesus christ help that woman please in the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me. I stand in partnership with the grace upon your man of God. In three months from today, according to the mystery of the ark in the house of Obed Edom, I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and I speak to you between now and the next three months. I shift you to a new season. Help them. I shift you to a new season. Hear me. We're wrapping up. That night could not the king sleep. And he said, Bring me the chronicles. And they opened the chronicles and he saw where Mordecai had saved the life of the king and was not rewarded hear me many of you have been part of the success story of many and yet you've been forgotten 
I stand by prophecy. Let the book of remembrance be open now. There is an anointing coming on your wife, sir. I'm seeing an angel pour like oil on her. And the Lord is saying she's entering a season of reward. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. She's entering a strange season of reward. Let me say it again. Anyone who has forgotten you, I stand in partnership with the grace of your man of God. May that book of remembrance be opened now. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake? In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, by this fire that is coming upon you, I decree and declare wherever the helpers of your destiny are in this Abuja, I speak to the north, I speak to the east, I speak to the south, I speak to the west, I command them to show up for you now. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. Please hear me. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. It says, Believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. Can I tell you this? There are different dimensions and levels of wealth. There is wealth that comes by providing value, there is wealth that comes by relationships but there is wealth that comes by prophecy he says by this time tomorrow and when he said it the one who the king leans on said even if god will open the windows of heaven might this happen i want to pray for you praying the prophetic dimension of wealth is not a license for laziness however in this kingdom we are not just left with economic principles there is a superior advantage that in addition to the value that we provide in addition to the relationships that come based on our impacting lives my life is a testimony i can tell you there is a prophetic dimension of wealth in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters i pray for you finally in this prayer session of fasting and praying in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god the same grace that took a raven and it brought bread for elijah at brook Cherith. the same grace that took coin and put it in the mouth of a fish the same grace that turned five loaf and two fish to feed five thousand people with 12 baskets remaining by the power of the prophetic in the name of jesus i connect you to strategic relationships <laughs> strategic relationships in the name of jesus in the end of in march, the name of jesus i stand by the mantle of god upon my life and i decree and declare may the heavens be open over you financially May the heavens be open over you financially. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, He said, We were like, help that lady, please, my God. We were like them that dream, and our mouths were filled with laughter. And said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He said, The Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad born again a captivity like the streams of the negative i prophesy to you by the power that raised christ from the dead every captivity help that lady please i turn it around right now 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 go and prosper prosper in ministry go and prosper prosper in business go and prosper prosper in family go and prosper prosper in career go and prosper prosper in this city i command lagos to be open for you now and let me pray over every member 
of this great assembly serving with joy serving with passion for the bible declares that the worker is worthy of his wages in the name of jesus christ i decree and i prophesy i use this as a point of contact to all the branches across the world connecting by faith the global family of this vision i decree and declare rise to a new dimension i declare advancement for you in the name of jesus christ thank you heavenly father i pray that your people will never be the same go from glory to glory and grace to grace in jesus name dr ever sir thank you may the lord honor you in jesus name I am undone before your glorious majesty. Shalakata brande kaparato sadilakata. Someone pray. The test of courage. The Lord, when you speak, I will not only listen, I will move. If I fail, let me fail hearing you. My soul fear not. My soul fear not over your finances. My soul fear not over your spiritual life. My soul fear not. In the name of Jesus Christ, fear not. He stands behind you like a mighty terrible one. In the name of Jesus. Now pray over the second test. Lord, as you lift me, take away the influence of my results over my life. Let it not influence me to a point that I forget you, to a point that I stop living by the values that brought me that honor. Someone lift your voice and cry before your maker. Let it not be that when you have built houses, and your flocks and herds are multiplied, that you will say, My power and the might of my hand has given me this way. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. Father, we ask you to help us. You have used the life of Gideon and the strategy that empowered him to use 300 men and defeat the Midianites. Lord, there are mountains, there are heights, there are levels and there are realms that we have not gotten to, that we need to get to. We are in seasons in our lives where we need to make notable advancements notable progress lord we pray that the test of courage may we pass that test the test of courage may we pass that test the test of courage may we pass that test and then oh god i pray that as you honor us and as you give us results before the nations before our contemporaries before all men may you grant us the stamina to not be distracted by results 
that we will celebrate your hand and your workings in our lives but not to the detriment of our advancement help us oh god that in the midst of our results may we remain focused Amen. may we remain disciplined Amen. may we remain spiritual Amen. may we remain committed Amen. may we remain humble Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. and lord as we humble ourselves before you let there be no limit to the degree and the dimension with which you will lift us Amen. now in the name of jesus i stand in faith with the angel over this house and then the graces that are here represented and i decree and declare over your life that the courage to keep moving until you leap over a wall until you cross barriers to the next season may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you for anyone here who probably because of mistakes that you have made the glory that you once enjoyed it is now ichabod it looks like the dimension of lifting you experience has seemed to leave you the relationships the connections right now i declare the same grace that grew back the hair of samson i stand by the power of the prophetic let there be restoration now restoration of relationships restoration of dignity restoration of finances restorations of joy and by the power of the prophetic like moses commanded the nation of israel to go forward in the name of jesus christ go forward go forward to new heights to new levels to new dimensions spiritually go forward financially go forward in the name of jesus christ and every power that has fought you until this conference to not allow you breakthrough powers of ancestry orchestrations in heavenly places I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I abashani ketebalakatos in the name of Jesus be delivered from those powers now let there be testimonies for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ testimonies in ministry testimonies in family testimonies in your work with God finally I pray for you everything that has stolen your passion for god your passion for prayer your passion for the secret place your zeal for spiritual things distractions that have come through relationships distractions that have come through your results in the name of jesus i fan the flames of your spiritual life i fan the flames of your prayer life i fan the flames of your word life in the name of jesus christ to everyone who is sick in body i declare be healed now by the power of the holy spirit please by the power of god please bring them to the stage now thank you jesus and all the overflows you can just bring them to the front i have searched and searched all the earth search yes, Babu Wali Kamaraka bring them out I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus there are many people right now the power of God is coming on them please whether you are an usher or not help them I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that anointing come upon them now 
things are shifting and changing bring them out by the spirit of the living god i bring you the ministry of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ hallelujah this man come this one hold on this man what do you do no 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 you please where I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the face of Pastor Paul and Nenche on your face. This is what I'm seeing. Huh? Help them, please. I'm looking at him and I'm, I, just, I just saw a flash of it. Maybe he's a spiritual son or something of that sort. He's a what? Oh, he's a pastor in Dunamis from Bauchi State. Is it true? Come, sir. What do you do? Huh? Where? What ministry? Praise revival. You believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. Lift your hands. Step into a new level from yes, now. Sir. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release you into a new dimension of the anointing, the power of the Holy Spirit. You will never be the same. Lift your voice in one minute and begin to pray. Everything that is not a revelation of the grace of God in my life, I command it to go now. Is someone praying? Plato, lift your voice and pray. Pray, lift your voice and pray. Help those under the anointing. The God of integrity, the one who has ability, the God of integrity, integrity, help them please. The God of integrity. Hallelujah. Now hear me. The Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. Kaba Kato Sataya. It says that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven, of things in the earth, and of things under the earth. I want to pray for you now that everything that is not of God, that every power that ties you down, it must go now and release your destiny. At the count of three, I will ask you to shout Jesus. And at that shout, hear me, that every door that has refused to open, everything that has tied you must let you go now are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus by the power of the holy ghost be free help them please be free be free atmosphere now Chains be broken, break Holy Spirit, atmosphere. Have them, please. hallelujah hear me if you came here walking with a crutch or an aid lift it up now and begin to walk you came with an aid or a crutch lift it up now lift it up now and begin to walk lift it up now and begin to walk everywhere you came here with a crutch anything assisting you lift it up by the power of the Holy Ghost and begin to walk in the name of Jesus the Son of the Living God Please help them. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that everything that will not let you go by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command that it leaves you now. Now. I command that it leaves you now in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Blot in every handwriting, the Bible says, and every ordinance that spoke against us, he nailed it to his cross. There's 
Therefore, I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant, I declare you free now, free now, free now, by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a few minutes and then we're done. The Lord is showing me a woman. I'm seeing a woman. I don't know if it's a lump or something at the left side of your breast. As I'm praying for you right now, the power of God is touching you. Right now, that devil leaves your body in the name of Jesus Christ. That devil leaves your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Is there someone with the name Godia? I'm hearing a name Godia. Is there someone with that name? I'm hearing a name Godia. Please make sure you don't just come out carelessly. Godia. Please let's be orderly so that we don't. Your name? As a man, your name is Godia. That's all right, please. Let's, let's not be chaotic. I will pray for you. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. And my friend, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, be free now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, help him. Be free forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray you are the man from dunamis the lord is going to begin to do mighty things through your life Amen. i see this unction for signs and wonders Amen. the lord is bringing upon you you will start walking in levels dimensions of the miraculous Amen. make sure that pride does not come when that comes in humility and character we dispense the gift may the grace come upon you in the name of jesus christ I pray for Godia. I want to pray for you. Please don't make it rowdy. I presume that there may be many people with that name. But in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The Lord is showing me a woman. I can see someone. There's someone. There's a miracle over there. Please make sure. Don't put anybody under pressure. Make sure they are really healed. Make sure they are really healed. You just confirm the miracles. Hallelujah. Now hold on please. The Lord is showing me a woman six years. You've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I'm seeing three miscarriages. Like not, not just three major miscarriages. Six years. You've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that person? Please don't tell lies. We're, this is a, we're on air and we're before Jesus Christ. I'm not just saying if you are trusting for a miracle. This exact description. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you. Jesus, no one like you, no one like you, no one like you, no one like you, have them please. You're the God of everything, no one like you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, how long have you been married? 12 years but I have well, three, miscarriages. three miscarriages that's all right i'll still pray for you in the name of jesus you believe in the power of god to heal place your hand on your stomach jesus thank you you are the god that can open the womb that is closed therefore i decree and declare by the power that raised jesus from the dead help her please i command that devil of barrenness out of her now in the name of jesus christ I declare that according to the time of life you return with your testimony we veto through the medical conditions and we declare healing for you 
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ for all of you who are in front for sake of time in Jesus name I declare you are delivered you are blessed in Jesus name please return back to your seat what what's that somebody who has been healed huh oh she was using the crutches to this point she was using the crutches before yes. and she could walk from the back what point. happened to her accident for how long close to eight years close to eight years you couldn't walk without this spinal cord injury. oh spinal cord injury my god place your hand on your chest my dear i'm still seeing somebody with a crutch i know what i'm seeing in my vision like this eight i'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, whether you are following online or you are in any of the overflows, I bring you life and healing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for those who are following from their homes, following from hospitals, in the name of Jesus, let the healing power of Jesus touch you right where you are. My dear, in the name of Jesus, I declare perfection over your body. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Pain and spinal problem, I curse you right now in the name of Jesus Christ I curse you right now my dear look at me who I just saw light the power of God will come upon them they will shout loud to the hearing of everybody in the name of Jesus the Lord is season of favor right now I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that that grace will come on you you will experience very strange dimensions of that grace there is a man of God here I don't know who but I'm seeing a man of God here the Lord is bringing speed to your life and ministry listen please you will literally start running just help that person you're a man of God I'm not saying just you aspire to get into ministry it is a supernatural thing honestly sometimes i don't know why god does this but just a grace coming literally it's like something is pulling you to run this is a supernatural impartation and your ministry will so change your life will change wherever that man of god is lord you know the secret prayers of that man and as you have given this word i decree and declare may that unction for speed my god may that grace for speed right now let it rest please help them so they don't injure themselves help that man in the name of Jesus Christ by the power that raised Christ from the dead my friend this man wearing suit yes lift your hand the Lord says I should tell you remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old i don't know what has happened over you but let this grace come upon you i open you by the spirit to a new season take that fire now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus you will never confirm your word over this our father in the name of jesus sir by the privilege of god's grace i stretch my hands towards you there is an anointing that is coming on you and the lord is saying he's shifting you you will start having prophetic encounters dreams and visionary experiences i decree and declare that you are stepping into that grace in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus christ amen and amen in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain 